You know, I love fishing out here in the Gulf of Mexico. We're out about 25 miles and there isn't a boat in sight. As a matter of fact, I can't even see the shoreline because we're that far offshore. But what we're gonna use here is fresh squid. This is frozen squid. I love to eat squid or calamari as some people call them. But this is one of the best baits when you're trying to get a variety of the bottom fish. To a fish, this is a nice tender meal. You can see the nice tentacles. This thing is about eight or 10 inches long. What I'm gonna do is cut it up the, the center. I'm gonna take the inside out, then I'm gonna cut it into sections. So I don't need to put the whole thing on right now. This is normally the part of the calamari that I love to stuff with seafood when I'm cooking them on the grill. But right now, this is gonna be cut up as fish food. So this middle part is what is gonna be discarded. I'm gonna cut the tentacles into two sections, just like that. And then the main body, I'm just gonna cut into strips like this. Now what we're using today, this is actually a egg sinker. It's four ounces, so it's pretty heavy. And you can see I've doubled my braided line at the bottom and there's just a swivel holding it into place. And then we're using a pretty large hook. This is a seven aught hook, and that's a gamogatsu hook, so it's pretty sharp. So what I'm gonna be doing is threading this on pretty well so the fish can't bite it off because some of the smaller snapper and other fish tend to nibble everything off. So that's actually good. I've got a little bit of a flap hanging there. That hook is exposed. So every once in a while, especially if the tide starts ripping, every once in a while, I have to adjust the line, but that's on bottom and that's just off bottom. That's where you want to be. So I've got a nibble now. Feels like what we call a sand perch, which is a squirrel fish. They're actually really good eating. You can see why they call it a perch. Look at the bars, just like on our yellow perch back home in freshwater. They kind of have like a goby head. They're very good eating. This one is probably about nine inches. You could get some nice fillets off it. But for some reason, the grouper really love these fish. 